Hello everybody and welcome to this biology video on the induced fit hypotheses of enzymes. Now firstly at GCSE level you learnt the lock and key idea of enzymes and their substrate. So the substrate, the thing we're trying to catalyse and cause the reaction to occur, has a specific shape and this m must mean that the enzyme has the complementary shape to that, it has the reverse shape, so that the substrate can fit into the enzyme and catalysis can occur. But at A-level, we step that up a little bit more detail, and that process with a little bit more detail that I'll explain is known as the induced fit hypotheses. And the first point in the induced fit hypotheses is the same as lock and key. Enzyme active site is complementary to the substrate, so it's the reverse shape so that the substrate can move into the enzyme. But when the substrate moves into the enzyme, this is where the detail comes along, it is held there by temporary bonds that form between the substrate and the R groups of the active site. And when these bonds form, so we get the substrate held in place in the active site, this altogether is known as the enzyme substrate complex. Now, by these bonds forming, these temporary ionic or hydrogen normally bonds, forming between the substrate and the R groups uh, on the active site, the enzyme's tertiary structure will be altered. Because remember, at the end of the day, an enzyme is just a protein, it's a globu globular protein. So therefore, by these temporary bonds forming, the tertiary structure of the enzyme will be altered. There will be a knock-on effect on all the other bonds. And this will cause the enzyme's tertiary structure to alter, therefore the active site will ever so slightly change shape. And that's shown in the picture right at the bottom. And by the change in shape occurring, pressure is put on bonds in the substrate, either forcing them to break, in this case, we're trying to break apart this green thing, or it might force bonds to form, all because of this change in shape, which is because of the tertiary structure changing, which is because of those temporary bonds forming between the substrate and the R groups in the active site. And when these bonds form or break, the substrate will turn into the product. So in this case, our green molecule is broken down into these two different pieces which are the product and the temporary bonds will dissociate they will cease to exist anymore they will break okay so these hydrogen bonds and ionic bonds they will break so now we are left with the enzyme which will return to its original shape because these bonds have been broken tertiary structure reverses with the product inside it and that's known as the enzyme product complex and then these product molecules will move out of the active site it's not that difficult, it's not in that much greater detail, you just need to know that those temporary bonds form, altering the active site, causing tertiary structure and um, active site shape to change, therefore bonds are broken or formed by the pressure which occurs due to that. That's all it really is extra. Uh, it's not that great of a step up from the lock and key idea, but you need to know. Uh, the two key words here are enzyme substrate complex and enzyme product complex.